Have you ever heard about an editing technique called split toning? This is a method by which we can selectively add color to our highlights and shadows and uh, this is actually a technique which is used by a lot of photographers out there. You can use it on landscapes, on portraits and any kind of photography really. Um, this can be done in Lightroom Classic as well as other photo editing software. You can use split toning to go from this image to this image in a few simple steps. So let's take a look at how to do this. So as always, I've gone ahead and imported a few images to work with for this tutorial. And right here we have a gradient from black to white. Um, and I'm going to be using this to show you how the split toning method affects the colors in this image. So um, in the latest um, versions of Lightroom Classic, the split toning section has been renamed to color grading, but essentially there is everything you need um, to do split toning in this section. So I'm going to immediately um, go to my shadows um, panel and I'm going to introduce blue colors to my shadows. And as you can see, I'm only affecting from the middle part of the image towards the pure blacks. We're not affecting the pure blacks because pure black cannot be changed. And this applies also to our highlights. As you can see, I'm affecting from the middle of the, the image towards the pure whites, but our pure whites cannot be changed. There's also a blending and balance of uh, this effect. So blending literally blends the two colors together. As you can see, if we move the blending slider completely to the left side, you can see that blending between the two colors is not happening. While if we move it completely to the right side, you can see that the, the two colors are actually blended together to form actually a different color. Let's go ahead and switch to an, an image to work with today. And right here, I want to show you how you can create a really nice mood and really nice atmosphere with an image like this. Um, but I want to show you a trick to doing so. So I opened this web page, which is called color.adobe.com. And right here, uh, this web page allows you to upload an image um, for which you like the tones. So if you like the tones of a specific image, you can upload it right here. And it will actually tell you the colors of each uh, part of the image that you select. So immediately I would like to select this, this nice green for my shadows and I want to go for a nice, um, this kind of warm tone for my highlights. So in the color grading section, I can press this color preset button and then choose my color pipette. Now we can keep clicking on this color pipette and drag it to any place on our screen. And as you can see, if I choose any of these colors, it will actually choose my color in that area. I can do the same for my highlights. I'm going to select the color pipette and I'm going to go over my um, warm white right here. And right here, as you can see, the effect has done a nice job, but we can even adjust it further from this. So we can increase the saturation of each of these colors. As you can see, I'm increasing the saturation and my whites are becoming warmer and we can do the same with the shadows. So as you can see, we have a, a nice balance right here. We can adjust the luminance of each of the colors as well. And then we can go ahead and use the blending slider and the balance slider to find the optimal look for our image. And as you can see, if we disable this effect, you can see how much more uh, of an atmosphere, of a mood, this effect gives it. So it gives this really nice warm um, tint to our highlights and this really nice green tint to our, um, to our shadows, which makes it feel like a vintage looking photo. You can use this effect on several images and I'm going to immediately switch to a different image to show you how you can also affect that particular image. So I'm going to uh, immediately play around with some colors in my, in my image to show you the effect of, of split toning right here as well. So right here I can see that my, my highlights can be sort of moved towards the orange side. 
we can play around with the saturation and the luminance and then we can introduce some nice teals in our shadow areas. We can decrease the luminance to make it a bit more punchy and then we can play around with the balance and blending of these colors. As you can see, we've moved from a very uh, generic looking image to these really nice teal tones and these warm tones in our, in our sky, which makes the image look uh, much more appealing and even creates this really nice mood to it. I hope you enjoyed this photo editing technique and I hope you can apply it to your photos as well. Please make sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching as always.